Well, after two days at uh, Mary Pool, we shall depart and head towards Wolf Creek Crater. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this time we actually get there. Well, I was just going to um, put some coordinates for Wolf Creek Crater into my GPS systems. But the book that I have, which is the latest, doesn't actually show a campground there, which I know there is, but it doesn't have it. They haven't listed any of the coordinates, so we're going to fly off into the deep out back with no GPS coordinates, but hey, that's just the way it is. Two bicyclists. Good on them. Pressure's down. I've got about 26 in the front and 31 in the back. We'll see how that goes. And we've got 130 k's to go, so I'm at 301.6, so that'll be 431.6 apparently. But we'll see. Let's go. Oh, that's warm. we were getting going I just realized I hadn't um, pulled the curtain down at the tailgate to try and alleviate the dust which it does so I've done that we're in four-wheel drive tire pressures are down and we should have um, 130 to go to Wolf Creek Crater according to the signs because of COVID I believe it's because of COVID anyway now there is no fuel available between where I've just turned off and Alice Springs. Now that's something in the region of 1,600 kilometres, I believe, um, which puts pay to some people being able to actually travel, and me being one of them, unless I actually increased my fuel tank capacity and carried my additional 60 litres of fuel. So, unless this COVID thing gets sorted and they reopen these communities with, because they were the ones who were selling the fuel, we could be in a bit of strife. very carefully because I realise that I have a um, front left hand tyre which is actually wearing down a lot quicker than the others and I suspect that my front end is slightly out of alignment because it's been scrubbing the tyre and uh, I was sort of planning to replace it with me should the tyre decide to pack up but I suspect that somewhere along the line I may have damaged my alignment and 
just have a little look at where we've been, see how much dust we're kicking up.
country out here though. Beautiful. staying 
in my home state and there's plenty of it to get around in anyway so I'll put the um, whole Tanami track to bed for a, a while until they can solve this COVID-19 issue. Oh, the kidnams won't be happy. Is oh no, it's a kangaroo. What is it? Yeah, it's a dead root. Okay. Oh, lots of flies on that one. Ugh. I was going to say the kidnams won't be happy. There's one of their cows, but it's not. Copyright. Although maybe 
we're about halfway there now. It's, uh, we've just totaled up uh, about 65 kilometres from where I entered the Tanamo. Just drive around here and have a coffee, dodge the rubbish. Somebody's had a can. Here's a nice shady spot. Look at that. Look at that. Coffee time, guys. We'll 
check everything out, make sure nothing's rattled itself loose. Yes, everything looks to be in ship shape condition. Well, this is my little um, coffee spot on the Tanami. Thought we'll show you a little bit outside instead of just that constant road. Everything looks fine. Collecting a little bit of red dust, of course. But this is it. This is the country out here. It's beautiful. I love it out here. Except for the rubbish. People drop rubbish everywhere. Not good. That's the tyre I was referring to. It's um, it's scrubbing on the outside. I notice it's down a lot, and I do need to replace it. But if it um, if it goes, well, it's it's a throwaway, and I'll buy a new one. But I do have my spare up there and there's one underneath the vehicle as well which I checked the other day and it's almost brand new in fact I think it is brand new too while well, I was having coffee another car passed going in the same direction as moi so I would suggest that we might have company at the Wolf Creek Crater which is fine okay now we got to get back into that state of zen. to set up their satellite dishes for their freaking TV and they were complaining because I, oh, my signal keeps going in and out and I thought what the bloody hell are you doing up here watching TV get outside and look at the sky look at your surroundings anyway oh, and they were oh they took about 20 minutes to set these things up and they were in and out comparing notes oh how's your reception and all this and oh, i thought oh what a load of bullshit let me out of here and so i did this morning well we've just ticked over the um, 100 kilometers that since turning onto 
that road, so apparently, or theoretically, we should have only about 30 to go. And here is another vehicle. So, quite a busy track is the Tanami at the moment. Full of tourists, where are you guys from? Let me look. Yeah, no, they're local. They're from WA, they're okay. It's these foreigners we've got to look out for. They're sneaky, probably sneaking up the back passage to get into WA. Well, we must be getting close. So I'm, I estimate about seven or eight kilometers, theoretically. And um, the terrain is quite flat, even though there's all these sort of low-lying bushes. It's very, very flat to the horizon which is how it was described that this thing is, um, is sits in very flat terrain and it's so high up off the, the ground. Anyway, we're going to see. Here be a sign. Wolf Creek Crater Turnoff, 500 metres ahead. I see a building in the distance. I suppose that's the entry charge. Wolf Creek, 20 k's into there. Oh, okay, the crater is 20 k's. Caravan, Aunt Karanya. Private property, don't go in there. Karanya, private property. How do we get in there? Now, what do we say here? Is this the entry? Animal welfare is our business, please shut the gate. I'm assuming that this is the road to the Wolf Creek Crater. I will go and open the gates.
abandoned building off to the right here, which I will put as I go past the gate. I'll put it onto the other GoPro. I'll go and shut this gate first. It's a spooky enough scenario. If you know Alfred Hitchcock's movie, The Birds, there they all are up there in that tree waiting for me. <laughs> and we look over here. Oh, there's other tourists just turned out into my shot. If you're familiar with the movie, Alfred Hitchcock's movie, The Birds, here they all are, up in the trees, waiting for us all to die of thirst so they can feed on our carcasses. Trouble is, they're all gorillas and they feed on seeds and nuts. Anyway, we shall press on. says there we can camp no dogs you can hike and you can have a look and then we have to shut the gate so we're going to do that okay hold on while I do another gate was a definite bone shaker of a road in but fortunately it's only two or three K so we can handle that on the way out tomorrow right I'll just go and shut the gate and I can see the ground rising off to the right it must be the rim of the crater okay it says not enough SD card so that's fine we can change it geez that's 64 gigabyte one has this thing been running on its own I bet you it has home and find I've got about a 20 minute scene of something that I didn't know I was taking. Okay we've swapped over to the um, this GoPro on the other side of the car because the other one has just told me that I haven't got enough SD card to take more video so I'll have to change that when we get there but uh, hopefully this is showing up. I've got my finger in the way. Um, the ground has suddenly risen, which I take it is the rim of the crater. So that's pretty exciting already. And after all this time, it looks like I'm finally going to make it to Wolf Creek Crater. Great. So we're just going to drive into Le Car Park, and there are the people who passed me on the road earlier when I was having coffee in the grey car. So we'll pull over to the other side and we'll have a wander up the track. Woo! Okay. I see people right up the very top, but I'm going to change the GoPro uh, card on the other one first. 